Good morning. Good morning, chat. Good morning, chat. Miss Cookie, I take offense to Disney World being the most expensive place on earth. This is the most expensive place on earth. You're here. We're going to spend all the money. This is the most expensive place on earth. <laughs> Do pens leak on rides? Not if you have the right pens. Fisher Space Pen, tailor made. Tailor made for the Disney World. Tailor made. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. How are we all doing? How are we all doing? Space Pen X Space Mountain. We should work on that. Pen shows are most expensive place on earth. True. True. St. Louis, week and a half? Week and a half from now, St. Louis Pen Show. Anyone going besides Alan? St. Louis Pen Show? I'm not going. I'm in this way. I'm a thumbs down. Need more coffee? I probably need more coffee too, but I was getting, I, I went to the to the water. It was a, a little warmish, a little warmish today in the house, so. We're definitely hitting the water pretty hard in this pre-summer, summer temperature we're feeling. <sighs> Looking good, feeling good. I am well. I am well. Needle Girl will be there. Toasty will not be there. Goodbye, morning people. Pencils down. I was just at Disney World and my hexagon spoke roadie worked just fine. That's a good match for Disney World. That's a good one. Yeah, like if you're like, you don't really need the space pen pressurized refill for Disney World. Most everything stays upright. It's just if you're writing in weird places. Slumberland Studio, your band, 47 degrees would feel so good right now. If I was to travel to the US for a pen show, which one should I go to? Um, San Francisco, Baltimore, I'm purposefully not saying DC. Well, I don't know, what would y'all say? I mean, DC's fine. DC's probably easy to get to if you're coming from Europe. <clears throat> Which I think, based on our conversations, you would be. Why no DC? Because it's a hot mess. It is has DC ever not been a hot mess? Like if you want if you want full stress of a pen show, please go to DC. <laughs> but yeah, it's really huge and big. If that's what you're looking for in a pen show. If you're looking for a big, busy pen show, go to DC. If you're looking more for an event, you might want to choose a different different uh, choice thank you absolute Yana the shirt's feeling a little big it's a new shirt it's feeling a little bit a little bit biggie a little bit boxy but it's good it's good we keep having to ramp down some of these shirts and this one's just a little blousy maybe I need to wash it <clears throat> Looking for something within easy driving distance? Well, if you're within visual of Orlando, you're gonna be happy come September because there's the Orlando Pen Show. Orlando, Miami, Atlanta. Have that shirt, love it. Me and Greg are ho brocos. <laughs> ho co bros. <laughs> There was nothing good that was going to come out of that. We're still I like this. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm feeling um, I'm feeling unscheduled this morning. Anything you want to talk about before I get into like the scheduled the scheduled look? There you go, Nobod. I don't know if I'm going to come to Orlando or not. Luckily, I don't really have to decide too far in advance because it's about take me about five hours to get there drive which like I could do that in a day spend one night and come back the next day if I wanted to like it wouldn't be that much of a stretch to uh to figure out so I'm definitely it's definitely on the watch list right nothing before San Francisco is happening after San Francisco I don't know what do we have Orlando Dallas in September I'm, I'm I haven't looked at the calendar what are we looking at Orlando, Dallas, then later on we have 
Ohio. Is Denver happening? I'm never, I'm not up to speed. These tips, yeah, right. Looks like a no-go this year again. Shooting for 2023. That's the plan. Shooting for 2023. <clears throat> um, still waiting to hear if Denver's happening. Wow, if they haven't announced it yet, that's... That's, I mean, this is cutting it close already for like October. Like I'm sure hotels and stuff have to know and organize and all that stuff. So let's see, is Anna's calendar up to date? Whoops. I know I didn't type that. Let's see. Let's see here. We got a pin show calendar. Let's see if I can bring this up for y'all. All right, 2020 as we have them. All right. Okay, so... St. Louis, Birmingham, England. Triangle was out of order here. Dutch Pen Show out of order. So we have Miami in mid-July. Then D.C. early August, San Fran late August, Orlando early September, Dallas late September, Commonwealth uh, one day show mid September. That's what Annabelle wants me to go to. Uh, to to go hang with Applebaum. <laughs> That's a stupid time to go my to Miami. It's always the uh, it's always the uh, Miami schedule that's always been there a lot of people would take it for a vacation morning chada good morning got your black wings nice denver has dates but the website has a date from 2020 and 21 so completely unsure okay so yeah it does have mid-october okay look there you go it's got a 2022 date on the on the website i think anywhere in miami has to have good ac Boston is a two-day show now? Interesting. GJ, good morning. Pin show websites are almost always terrible. Ours is an exception because Ken is a magician. Ken's good people. So, Orlando, so let's see. San Francisco, then two weeks to Orlando. Oof, I don't know if I'll be recovered by then. Bert's response is always Miami residents live there all year. That's true. Yes, yeah, so it's not a Miami's not a huge travel show because it's Miami, right? It, Miami, as cool a city as it, it can be, it's not in the best location, right? Just for, for travel. It's hard to get there, travel. Um so Orlando is two weeks after San Francisco. I don't know if I can swing that. We'll see. Then Dallas. Okay, then we have a bunch of TBAs. Colorado. Oh, Toronto, October 30th. I forget, always forget about that. And then Ohio, November. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. That's kind of what we're looking at. I'm going to San Francisco. That's all I have guaranteed right now. Morning, I was in Amsterdam, and I... I, and itinerary missed the Dutch pin show by a single day. No. Imagine living near a pin show. <laughs> hey, I feel very, very lucky to live, you know, less than two hours from one. Um, I don't live near a pin shop, though. I don't live near a pin store, which is, I guess there's the closest one is probably, closest real pin store is True Fay, and that's probably like three and a half-ish hours from me. We should do a in, true fay in-store one of these days if I get I get a bug one weekend, go to South Carolina. Nearest to Phoenix is LA. I thought, uh, I thought there was like a Scottsdale stationery store. Or you're just talking about pin show, pin show. Living near a pin store is a blessing and a curse. That is true. Closest is Fountain Pen Hospital, but that's nearly two hours and over a river. I feel like the the over the river part is is the most significant part. 
So Archer Paper Goods is great. Archer, I, I love Archer Paper. I, they always cost me money when I go. And you should, if you're in Atlanta, you should just go to Pont City Market anyway. They have just killer food. <laughs> killer food. All right, so that's that. Oblation is near me in Portland. Nice. Oblation's a pretty dope shop. So yeah, like Archer Paper. I don't. They're not really. A, they're not a fountain pen store though. Heading this. Heading to Montreal this weekend for the race. Any store recommendations? I just number one. I dislike you greatly. Um, number two, no clue. Speaking of Kirk, is at Dromgul's this weekend. Trouble. I need some nib work done. I should come down. I need some nib work done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a stack of nib work by the time San Francisco happens. <clears throat> if it makes me feel any better, it looks like it's gonna be rainy. Eh, I deal with it. Deal with it. Hopefully not too bad though. Hopefully you get to enjoy, enjoy most of the race. Um, that sounds like fun. Like Montreal would be a great. I would rather go to Montreal than like Austin or Vegas in the future. You know, not the Austin and Las Vegas, neither one of those excite me as like a, a potential F1 trip. I'd rather go to one of the European races or Montreal seem, would seem a lot cooler. Brad single-handedly keeping Nibmeisters in business. Boy, they don't need me. Like we have so many, um, so many Nibmeisters at shows now and then their lists stay pretty full. It's great to see. It's great to see. All right. Let's get going with this unboxing chat. <clears throat> we got some things to get to. Not sure exactly what. So, um, again, um, these orders I get are for like review goods and giveaway goods. Um, I don't know that I've necessarily bought it bought any like personal stuff from this the jet pin stuff this is sponsorship stuff though so um so this i didn't necessarily pay out of pocket for like yesterday when we did amarillo stationery um that was just straight up paid for it this i kind of i get assume i got all this stuff for free from jet pins that's the easiest way to, to say it the most awesomest, longest running sponsor I have. All right. We have a large envelope. They stuffed this in my mailbox chat. I was livid. I mean, no telling what's in here. This was literally like they managed to fold this in half and shove it in my mailbox. Like it's just a traditionally sized mailbox. Like if you got a picture of a mailbox in your head, um, just like on a road, like Thanks, USPS. All right, let's see what we can get into here. I was, I was, I was nonplussed, as they say. How did they manage that? They folded it in half. Boom, boom, boom. All right. I didn't even set up my camera today, so let me do that. This is how my morning's going. My morning's been good. It's been busy. I don't even understand how it fit in there. Me neither. I don't, they managed to find, they managed to work a fold into that to fold it in half. Like it was split in half when I, in, in the mailbox. All right. Is the camera on? It is. <clears throat> yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, hey, here's another here's another fun story from Brad's front yard where the mailbox lives. Yesterday was uh, trash pickup day, and I'm in here. I hear the trash come right, and then later I was like, oh, I should go get the trash can. There's no trash can, so I call the uh, like that afternoon. And I was like, yeah, there's really no trash can. That afternoon I called the place, and they're like, oh yeah, we meant to call you. The guy dumped the can into the truck, and Basically, the, the trash truck ate my trash can. So now I'm getting a new trash can. The trash truck ate my trash can. <laughs> that was not on my list for yesterday, chat. 
That was not on my list. Oh, we get this one a lot. Joel. Joel, I see you. Joel. My first day at Jet Pins, time to make a great impression. Cute accessory, favorite pin, professional attire, perfect makeup, positive attitude. You can do this, Joel. Crunch, monch. Uh, this is the Jet Pins office, right? All right, so are you a Joel or are you a Cheeto guy over here? We'll call him Cheeto Hands. Um, happens in the Netherlands a lot, yeah. Are you a Joel, like making sure you're always like prepped and ready to go, or or you have uh, Cheeto dust on your hands? I'm a Joel for sure, right? I'm yeah, you know, like I don't need to tell you all that. I'm definitely a Joel. So yeah, Cheeto guy. Cheeto, I don't want all that Cheeto stuff. Cheeto, I don't need Cheeto dust on my pens. Cheeto gal there, <laughs> closer to Joel. Yeah, I mean, there's benefits to both, right? Like Cheeto Cheeto guy doesn't have a care in the world, right? Paul, <laughs> there is nothing attached to the packing slip. I mean, it doesn't matter if I show y'all in here because I'll just do it anyway and it'll still be stuck. It's something stuck on there. JD lady, welcome. Welcome. All right. Trying to remember some, I think I picked just a bunch of random stuff. I probably got some of the new Twisby Eco to give away later. Not on stream, probably on the blog. Those are good blog giveaways. Let's hit the, uh, you saw a Sman competitor on JetPen's Instagram this morning? What? So there's a box within a, within a, within a band. Joel's first day, Cheeto Gal after I set in. Fair, fair. I, I'm down with that. All right, I'm going to click on new arrivals and see real quick if there's a Sman Stan competitor. I thought I saw something. I might have ordered. We're not going to go through this now. I just want to quickly see. Yeah, Donut, see if there's something I ordered. Maybe not. Who knows? All right, we'll have to look at their Instagram. Sorry, I'm yawning. I didn't have enough coffee either, y'all. Way to go. Oh, I'm, I'm sitting here trying to show y'all stuff and not on there. Oh, yeah. There's been other stand-up pin cases like this before. Yeah, this is, this is normal, cool Japanese stationery. Yeah, this I would expect to have seen before. But I'll need to get one. That's pretty cool. I like it. It's a stand-up pin case plus. I like it. I like it. And it comes in orange. All right, we'll have to look. Did I order one of these? Wow, that looks like it'll tip over. That's why the Sman's so good. The Sman doesn't tip over. Never ordered anything from them? You might want to... Uh, close this stream because you might end up making your first order. <laughs> Did I order one of these? Well, we definitely need the orange one. We'll just add this to cart for later. All right. All right, so I have some things that were in a box that were in the envelope, so let's see. Little sis, Brandy, thank you for the follow. My, my Lord's working. I mean, it's just the general state of the of the stream. All right. Can we get through unboxing before we start the next order? The answer might surprise you. That is too funny. All right. We'll take this first. All right, so there must be some ink in here. So Jet Pen's got dominant uh, industry ink, so I got out. Makes me sad I missed out on that round Knox case. Was it the Coleman? Yeah, it was the Coleman. I don't think I have any extras of those, of those left. I mean, if I did, it would be just something buried. Emily Ray Journals with the Prime sub, and thank you so much. I appreciate you. Enjoy your sweet, sweet emotes. I put in a, an order for like 10 more emotes with uh, Kayla. So we'll be uh, hopefully checking those out in about a month or so. We got some new emails. Toby, come here. Toby, come here. 
Toby got his got his haircut. So let's see if we can show him off. Toby, come here. Toby, come here. Come here, bud. <gasps> come here. Come here. They want to see you. Here. Mr. Haircuts. Hi. How are you? Oh, uh, you smell my chapstick? Was that what that was? So he got a new collar for his birthday. It's got beer and crabs on it. It's like a, uh, it's like a crab, uh, like American crab, crab thing. Yeah. See, like the other day when he was up here, I knew he wasn't feeling good. He just wants to be down most of the time. Uh. -uh. All right. Good boy. Looking very handsome. All right. He's out of here. He's like, I'm out. There was nothing good here. Exactly, JD lady. All right, let's see. Let's go back here. All right, we got Tanzanite. So I've reviewed one Dominant Industry Ink on my blog. I don't remember what color. It was a bright blue. Let's see what we got here. Hello, hello, Lurk. Enjoy your Lurk, Katie. I reviewed Lake, and I was very happy with Lake. They have the cool bottles here. It's a very nice bright blue. So that was Lake. And here I got Tanzanite. I think I got a couple colors. Um, God, I hate opening these before I decide what I'm doing with them, but... Oh well. Tanzanite, yeah. Um, Pelican Elstein Tanzanite is a really, really popular blue black ink. So Dominant has really nice packaging. They even give you a little, little pipette, pipette. I bet. So we have the little cloth here, and then we have tanzanite. We're not going to go through and sample things today. We'll save that for another day. I got too much to get through. Per this is the pearl series. What does the pearl series mean? I don't even know. Does that mean it has sheen? Now I've got to look. This is going to be a really hard keyboard day. So I don't have the Pearl series. All right, Tanzanite Pearl series is... The Pearl inks feature stunning hues with shimmering pearlescent finishes. Oh, sick. That looks dope. I'm all about this. Ooh. You know what pen needs this is my Prisma. That's a very Prisma. Ooh. All right, we're going to ink that up soon. It looks like I'm keeping this one for myself to review. Shocker, I know. Shocking. We'll have to figure out a pen in that to go in. Maybe the Bungu Box uh, um, Ink of the Witch pen. That would be great. Yeah, looks cool. Looks cool. That I am into. I am very much digging that. All right, let's see what else we got. Pearl Series is all shimmer, if that was the question. Yes, that was the question. So I must have got a... Oh, I bought some of these. Wow, okay, so this and this was in here. That's me shaking my head. So I bought these little stationary. <laughs> I was making sure you heard that. I'm glad you were back to your desk at that time. I bought these little, um, I just saw these in the new arrivals. I thought these would be a good either review item or a giveaway item for the blog. It's a little Midori stationary kit. I'm not gonna take it all apart today. 
but I'll show it comes with a little scissors, little colors. Um, it had lots of cool little accessories. Let me find it real quick. I'll show you. And you can buy all the accessories separately, which is what I started to do. And then I found that it came into a kit. So it's got a stapler, a cutter, a correction tape, a glue tape, scissors, and a measuring tape, and it all comes in a case. So, I mean, it's a little, like, it's expensive, right? Like, it's it's not exactly like, ooh, that's a cool, good deal for lots of little, you know, plastic accessories, but it's all in one. It comes in a little kit, and this is, um, I'll show you, well, I'll show you here. This is the fully open kit, so it actually folds in half to be like a little compact kit like that. So... Like I thought it was useful and convenient and it's pretty small, right? When you when you fold it all together, fold it in half. <laughs> Got back in the desk just in time for the attack. So, yeah. I don't know if I ordered one or two of these. Like one white one and one black one to give away. Just one, just one. All right, cool. We got that, we got a pretty cool looking ink. Let's see what else we got. That's gotta be the new yellow Eco. I might, did I order two of those? I don't know. When I order two of things, I tend to do it for giveaways and stuff. So this is a 1.1 stub with the new yellow. We open things here. Oh yeah, we gotta see. I could, if I had my stationary kit open, I could use the little knife there instead of this. But we open things to look at here. I wanted to check out this color. What's up, Shantanu? So yeah, that's a pretty good yellow. Pretty strong. It's not really chartreuse. It's really just like a translucent yellow. It's not, I wouldn't call this like fluorescent. It's pretty. So there you go. Random question, but are 1.1 stubs lefty friendly? Um, I would say so because the edges are rounded. So depending on your writing angle, I don't know if you come over the top, like uh, um, like you hook the pen, right? Like you come around and hook. Um, you're still going to be able to um, work with the rounded edge of the stub. Uh, this is coming from a not lefty. So if any lefties want to, um, <clears throat> want to uh, chime in. So the bork bin bork. It's, yeah, I, I would want to know like your writing angle. For sure, right? Never had an Eco before. I still think it's probably my favorite Twisby is the Eco. Just the shape and the size and the build and the construction. Usually an under or a side rider, I think you would be fine. Right? I like under riding would be fine. Like, or from the side, yeah. Like, just the stubs, they just have this, this curvature on the edge that's really not going to cause lefties too much problem. Yeah, I told y'all, like, this is this is where your bank account goes to die. Brad, I thought you hated piston fill pens. When have I ever said that? I have never said that. I just don't care. Like, I'm not going to not buy a pen if it's not a piston filler, right? Some people are just adamant about that. It's like, oh, it's not a piston filler? Bleh. Like, I couldn't care less. I love the sound of the eco when you cap it. Yeah. Twisbees are rock solid for me. All right. So that is a 1.1 stub. Paper Cat Lady, 27 months of sub. And let's go. What's up, Paper Cat Lady? You jest. You jest. I know. I know. The horror. The horror that I don't care whether a pin is a piston filler or not. Right? <laughs> You're not a real fountain pen fan. How do I subscribe with my Amazon Prime on this app? Google Twitch 
Prime, and it'll walk you through the steps. Twitch Prime sub. So there's a way you just have to go through and connect, connect the things. Connect the things, and it's a great thing to use your Amazon Prime account for because it's free. Like it's no additional charge to you, except it sends me five dollars a month, minus fifty percent. <laughs> but it's a great way to give me some of uh, Daddy Jeff's money. Sarasa Nano. Sarasa Nano. Oh, these are different. They have a middle metal. Uh, someone used to have a link in here. Bezos Bucks, yeah. Twitch Prime sub. I don't know. Like, there's all kinds of challenges between mobile and desktop and how to do the right thing. Like, there's people will sometimes have links to like all the articles you need to do for it. Because it's it's not the most straightforward thing. Um, this is a Sarasa that has a metal tip. I can feel the weight. Let's open this up. What's your feeling? Think. Jackie with the stream giveaway. Stream giveaway bucks. Let's go. All right, let's give something away. I'm not going to give something away in this box yet. We're going to go into the, uh, the ice box for this giveaway. The ice box of happiness. Let me get some ice box of happiness emotes, and then I will test out these nanos when I get back. Yeah, once you start using, yeah, once you link it the first time, everything else is easy. All right. What do we have here? What is. Good giveaway for today. Since we're on jet pens, I ordered an extra one of these one time before. I did request. I did request a smand emote. We'll see what happens. I'm sure uh, Sleepy Bird Art is going to be like, "What is a smand?" So I, I sent her pictures and links. I was like, you know, something like this. I don't know if we can get, uh, I don't know if we can do it. So we got, we got bunny smand, purple smand. Um, so yeah, really cool pin case. Sweet, sweet smands. All right, let's give this away. A smemote, yeah. That was a stretch bork, bin bork. That was a stretch, but I appreciate the work. All right. Purplish. Purplish would, of course, love this. Purplish is is going to end up uh, being being the winner here just because that's how the bot works. Heart Cube. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. All right. Let's do this giveaway for the bunny smand. Oh, wait. This man has to be capitalized. It's the rule in exclamation point. All right. This giveaway is open. Exclamation point raffle. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. This is like my, I'm, I'm like, I need to be like that speed reader, speed talker. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber to enter any of these giveaways. You just have to be an awesome person. And you have to be present to win. And you have to email me your shipping address when you're done. Want to explore since months of subbing. Let's go. Thank you so much. Want to explore. Anyone can win worldwide. Big worldwide uh, winners yesterday. Um, two out of the three winners international. M Malaysia. UK was the second one. I'd have to go back and look. So we, had, uh, we have one going to Malaysia tomorrow and one going to, I think, the UK. So, yeah. Big international vibes here at the Pin Addict. All right, where is my full frontal corgis? I gave a purple bunny Sman to my niece for Easter. She loves it. Nice. Smans are the best. Brad, the Pin Addict Opus 88 arrived. Love it. Thank you so much, Molly. I hope you enjoy it. It's a really, really fun, fun pin.
and I'm glad. Uh, I gotta, I gotta decide if I'm gonna do another round of those. I'm not like super compelled to, but maybe, maybe it'd be easy. Like round two is always easy. I just say reorder. So something to think about. Do you see the purple with ebonite coloro? Um, was that the uh, the Pantone one, or was that a different one? With the orange ends, that purple one with the orange ends was extraordinarily cool. If that's the same one, that's like one of the cooler ones I've seen. And if it was the smaller size, I would have ordered it. But that, I can't do that big size, that big size opus. The Pantone one, I, it's awesome. Actually, we're gonna talk about it on the podcast tomorrow. I enjoy it that much. Like, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get one though. It's too big. That's why I did the the Halo model for the Panatic version. All right, let's pick a winner. Servebot Phil. <laughs> Servebot Phil. Is that the Phil I know that keeps changing his name, or is that a new is that a new winner? Servebot Phil. <laughs> Is it red or orange? It's orange. I think it's orange. We can fight though. Serve bot. Serve bot Phil. Are you present? Are you present to win? There you go. Wow. It's you. It's you, serve bot Phil. So you need to email me your shipping address to hello at penatic.com. And include your Twitch name. I need to update that. Um, I need to update that command. Include your Twitch name or the product that you won. Or both. My Opus arrived in the UK last week and I absolutely love it. Also, my membership. Great mail day. Nice fuzzy warble. So, I've got some... Um, the most recent batch to the UK it seems to be taking... I, I got an email and there's definitely one that's taking a little while. I don't know if it's an individual thing, but... International shipping, shipping still... Still a mess. Oh, the corgi looks so cute on here. Nice. All right, serve bot Phil, you win. I will ship that out later this week, maybe this weekend. We shall see. All right, let's check this out. What was it? <laughs> it was a smand pen case. It was a pen case for your desk, and it holds your phone. It's one of these, but more purpley and more bunny y. But it's a style of this case right here that I use constantly. It's one of the great giveaway items because it's cool and it's reasonably priced and everyone wants a smand. All right. So the Sarasa Nano. Do I have any paper that's convenient? I don't. Yeah, I'll always order Smans because they one they keep making new ones and two they're just a killer giveaway item, just a great giveaway item. All right, so the Sarasa Nano is supposed to be a a like a heavier weight version of the Sarasa. Let me try. Let me look at this so I can get you the description. All right, let's see what it says here. So this is, I think I bought a few sets of these. They come in a bunch of different colors. Okay, so the Sarasa Nano has a tip that's cushioned by an inside spring. Isn't that all mm, pins? Hmm, that's the, that's the marketing? Seems like, hmm, hmm, curious. They're heavy, I know that. Like the Sarasa clips are lightweight. These have metal parts in them. Let's get the blue one. So the tip up here is metal. What we should do is take this apart first. So same knock, similar clip, um, rubber grip. The cushioning is real, then I may not like that. Yeah. 
So standard spring. Is there something else in here? So nothing else in there that I can see. Nib Taylor, you figured it out. You figured it out. Let's go, Nib Taylor. Hmm. Good morning, Cocolina. <laughs> Grandpa Nibs finally figured it out. If I can figure things out, you can figure things out, JC. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Is that the standard Sarasa refill? Refill slop with a 0.5 and use it for the cushioning? Are y'all saying this really has cushioning? If it does... God, these are annoying. Like, I understand the little... little plastic bits on here so they don't dry out but being someone who's annoyed by aesthetics yeah there's like cushioning in here but I don't know that I is there a difference by subbing through prime no no difference whatsoever and if you have a Prime sub and you're not subscribing to anyone, like you should do it. Like it's free to you, and it's it's great for uh, for others. So I don't know that I'm gonna press that hard to get the benefit of the spring. How can I show you this? Let me see if I'm able to show you this. What you mean by cushioning, it's saying that there's some like give, like when you're pushing down on it. I'm gonna try to show y'all here. So, let's see if we can see this. So it goes so like this kind of edge on the refill, right? This straight edge above the cone, you can push it all the way in, but who is pressing that hard? See, I can push it in that far. I'm not sure this is a feature, right? Because who's, who's shoving their pin into the page hard enough to benefit from that, right? Like, I don't know that... Mm. I don't know that there's a benefit here. And I really didn't even, that didn't even register with me that that was like a feature. I mean, all pens have an inside spring, but some have more of a fixed length, like the back end is not gonna let it like push in, but sorry, I'm, I'm leaning to the side when I write. Like, I don't see that I'm ever going to get there. Right? And plus, people write at an angle. People don't write, like, vertically like this. Yeah, I don't know. So I think just as a pen, it's pretty cool. Like, it's a, it feel, the barrel feels better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be weird with the... Uh, with the metal tip, because I like the regular Sarasa so much. And they're not really much more expensive than the regular Sarasa clips, are they? Let's see here. Oh yeah, I guess they are. Where are they? Okay. So the regular Sarasa clip is a dollar seventy-five, and these are three thirty. So yeah. I mean, I don't see that the they're worth the price. Yeah, this is not a bouncy nib. This does not bounce. Like, you got to shove. Like, if you didn't tell me that this was a feature, I would not have known it was a feature. Does that make sense? Like, there's no way I would have looked, thought anything in the other than this was just like your basic gel pen. It's, it's, it's not noticeable, which is good. I, I would rather it not be noticeable because then it, I don't think that would be great. Um, wonderful color. 
I know I'm just scribbling with it, but what color is this? So this is... This is night blue, night blue. Write hard to see if it makes a difference. I did, but that's pointless, right? No one writes like that. Like, I cannot write if I'm going to do this all day. Hulk smash. Yeah, I'm not it. Like, where's another pen? Do I have another retractable pen like this? I really don't. So anyway, I don't think it's a feature. Buy the pen because it's a cool pen and cool colors and it's got a nice metal tip, but the springiness, whatever. This is a great color though. Kakuyo in Pitsu. I think it's like I've had one of these. People that use fountain pen testers would disagree that no one writes that hard. I hear you. All right. Um, all that said, like I said, these are great. These are great. You just have to decide if you want like the barrel upgrade. I don't think you're really gonna get the um, crystal sings. Thank you for the follow. I don't think you're really getting really any benefit of the springiness. Does it even? I'll have to see if it has anything on the. Um, packaging that that notes that as a specific feature naper villain with the gifted sub to crystal sings thank you so much naper villain crystal sings enjoy your enjoy your emotes hype 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 all right let's see what else we got i think i got other colors of these two because i like the zebra sarasa clip all right let's see what else we got Oh, I've reviewed one of these before. I just thought the I couldn't like I didn't. I, so this is this is me. All right, this is me in a nutshell in my stationary life. I've reviewed one of these before. This is another one with a feature that I didn't think I really needed. Um, and I bought it again because it's a cool color. <laughs> so you can either. It's a good I like it's a good idea. It swaps between the Kuratoga mechanism or a fixed mechanism. Right? So I'm pretty sure I've reviewed this on the blog before. I'll have to look it up. I was like, okay, yeah, fine, fine. But then I saw this color. I was like, come on. Come on, Brad. Chada with the five months of seven. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's see if I've reviewed this. I'm pretty sure I've reviewed this. Because I was very confused when I unboxed it. That's one that I unboxed before and was as confused as I was with the Sarasa. Yep. So it was pretty recently. So there is my review of it, which is here. Because it's also like $15 or something like that. It's not cheap. Yeah, $15.50. So I did the black one. <laughs> we made pineapple pen jokes. This is this is more of a pineapple pen. Okay, look. I didn't read this, but I just explained myself. I explained myself in this review what I just explained to y'all. Despite the fact I cannot figure out the perfect use case for why this pencil exists, I do know one thing about me and what I look for in products. I'd buy the Uni Alpha Gel Switch again 10 out of 10 times. I just don't know what I'm going to use it for. That's literally what I just said <laughs> without having read this review. It's like, I'm just going to buy it because it looks cool. Chada with the bits. Thank you so much. JD Lady with the bits. 
Thank y'all so much. I don't know what my pineapple pen guy here. We should probably hit play on this just to remove that screen here. That's a screen. But yeah, like this last little little statement is exactly why I love stationery so much, right? So very cool. Very cool. All right, let's see what else we got. Oops, I did it again. That's literally my entire stationary life. All right, let's see what we got. Hey, Toby. Toby's already been on cam. He said he wants to say hey again. Toby wants to say hey again? All right. Well, he's on little cam here. Toby wants to say, I think really Elizabeth wants to say hey. That's, that's what it is. Toby. Hi. Toby. Toby. Hi. All right. See y'all. All right, we have the Diplomat Magnum. Um, it normally comes in a square box, but this one was smashed in transit. Everyone tells me that I am overlooking this pen. So yeah, what I'm seeing is that Toby's more happy to be held by Elizabeth than you, Brad. So Elizabeth is the only one that can hold him like a child, like upright like that. Like if I try to hold him like that, he won't do it. She's, the only, she's like, I can see her from here. She's like literally walking around with him like a baby. And none of me, my wife, and my son, none of us can hold him that. So I bought a couple of these. One to review, one to give away later. Because they, they got some, new, some cool colors. I've never been totally down with the aesthetic of this. Like, I like the color, right? But I've never been like down with the barrel shape with the plastic, I think just like the plastics look here, I think the like this is like a super aggressive like look for me. It's never been my thing. But literally everyone says how much they love them. So, we'll give it a shot. The the nib is kind of like brushed finish. Let's see if I can get get that in here. I got too much stuff behind the scenes here. It's not like a shiny finish. It's like a brushed Almost kind of finish. You're going to play nice, camera? I probably need to show it to you compared to a different one. So what did we get here? We got a medium nib on this one. It's a small, lightweight pocket. Not pocket pen, but just like a lightweight pen. Um, I think I just really don't like the clip aesthetic. Like, the, it's with the pen. Like, independently, the pen looks good. The clip looks good. Together, it reminds me of, like, this is like the 1970s mechanical pencil look here, right? So with like the eraser, you know those mechanical pencils that I'm talking about with like the 1.3 millimeter leads. Um, it looks like one of those pencils. The Magnum Medium is quite broad. Does the grip have facets? It has, yes. So there's two flat pieces. The purple is what finally got me to order it. So like there's three like flat sides here so there's like two flats here and then one on the back so if you have a traditional grip everything fits in if you have a non-traditional grip i don't know if it'll feel uh, all right see you crystal sings so yeah these new colors are what finally made me pull the trigger we'll see we'll see what the deal is so i'm pretty sure there's another one in here i might have got the orange one too right they did some really really neat colors so we'll have to see if I got the orange one as well. Diplomat Magnum Smashbox. All right, let's see. Oh, look. There it is right there. In a less smashed box. Uh, orange Demo. Fountain Pen or Rollerball. So, wow, they... They have these kind of universal boxes that they got to check check out what they are on there. Scripto pencil. Thank you, Strange Camel. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Boom. Orange. So, yeah. I mean, these look great. Oh, let's see. Is this a converter in here? No. Okay. It's just a dummy cartridge. <laughs> I saw the back of this and I thought it was like, is that the black end? Is that the end of a converter? So, but no, it was just a dummy cartridge in there to 
prevent them from smashing. Definitely need to hydrate today. So yeah, we'll um we'll figure out what to do this with this. Really, really good colors. It is a very panacty orange. So I think there's a teal. They they just did a bunch of really good colors. And I think that's what finally got me over here. But now this is not gonna line up. That's gonna bother me. There's a lot of things that bother me about this pen. The, the fact that people rave about it so much is what got me to actually order it. Like everyone who's tried or reviewed this pen loves it. Like I haven't heard a bad thing about this pen. I've just always thought it was kind of ugly. But now they have these fun colors. Happy Robot, thank you for the follow, appreciate you. What size nib on the orange? Great question. Hopefully I ordered two different size nibs. Uh, fine. So a fine on the orange and a medium on the purple. So, cool. All right, let's keep going. I think we got a lot. Of, we got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, this is a random thing. So, um, Jet Pens carries a, a brand called a Donut from I think they're Japanese or are they Taiwanese? It's a they're a bag maker. Just like they carry a Nomadic stuff, they also carry bags from Donut. Whoops. And Sarah loves the backpacks. Sorry, I keep showing. So Sarah loves these backpacks, and she's reviewed a couple of these before. And now they have the donut um, fanny packs, which actually look pretty nice. So let me see if I can get one up here. Nomadic donut. Fuzzy Warble with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Fuzzy Warble. Kelly, Kelly, enjoy your uh, enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your fun. Thank you so much, Fuzzy Warble. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, let me get the let me find this thing first. And it's just I'm sorry, I'm scrolling through this. It's harder for me to get to the keyboard than to just rip through here real quick. Although I'll end up having to go to the keyboard if I can't find it. Here we go. I'm sorry. So there were two kinds: the erratic. In the Seattle, so there were two kinds of fanny packs, and that they, they have them there. I ordered them; they're reasonably priced. So the Erratic was one model, and I bought the Seattle. And I think this is gray, maybe. So this is like a cool pin show bag, All right? So let's see what it looks like. So it's pretty neat construction, kind of well made, kind not kind of well made. Definitely. Oh, I'm not switching cameras. I need like a I need like a Hey Siri switch camera thing. My hands are too full to be messing around. So front pocket, small little dividers here. All nylon construction. Nice patch on the front. Bigger pouch. It's got lots of little storage areas. So it's got a wider storage here, um, small storage here. Oh, it's got like a like a keychain holder type of thing. It's things you don't want to lose. So yeah, like this is just something I like to test out from now and then. I don't know what I'll do with it as far as like review goes. Um, I will say just from being a bag person and looking at how it's built. It's pretty exceptional, right? I mean, this is like really, really tightly made. Like it's well made, right? It doesn't, it looks put together correctly, feels solid and strong. What's interesting about it is it's just, uh, it's just, uh, 
kind of a poof out pouch, right? That has no base to it, right? So the only depth of it is gonna be like a football, right? However you fill it up is how it's gonna get its depth, right? How's the strap? Let's see. So yeah, nice durable strap, plastic, plastic buckle clip. Uh, very adjustable. It's got a, it's got an extension, you know, like a little buckle holder, right? So you can put in the extra here, um, and then you can extend it over here this way. Just move that down, pull it through to get the extension out. So yeah, I get. It seems like super well made. One out of five did not come full of donuts, right? So yeah, like it's a dog training pouch filled with treats. It looks perfect for that. Uh, what did it say? 420D, that's like a pack cloth. Yeah, 420D nylon. Uh, adjustable race belt, water repellent, internal key holder, recycled lining. So yeah, just like cool all the way around. They make good stuff and at a good price. Place me in front of a lens or flash. What? So this is like a camera thing. It's, it's like a camera filter. Nice. All right. This is me I'm just talking to myself. Nylon plus recycling. Interesting. I'll have to read about that. All right. Cool. It seems nice. Seems nice. Let me slide this back in here for now. Cool. All right, a couple more things in here. Let's see what we got. Oh, I ordered a few of the zebras. I get asked about the zebras all the time, and they just did a refresh of some of their models, and then I added some. I don't know if this is... Um, This looks like an upgrade on the cla one of the classic designs. And the G is for gel uh, on Zebra series, even though it says gel retractable. Most of their pens like this are ballpoints, so if you want the gel refill, you gotta get the G series. Um, yeah, these are great, like off the shelf pens, like super, super, super popular pens. And I just don't review them very often. Um, the smaller, like the 400 series, has never been that great, even though it's really, really popular for people to just go grab off the shelf and people really like them and they're durable. Like, I get it. They're just not great writers, but I wanted to try these new models. I think that's about it. Yep. So I got the, okay, so this is the one that I used to not like, the 4 series, but they've changed the grip on this and that looks better. And their gel instead of ballpoint pins um so yeah these these will be like review items just something to test out the updates to these um instead of the old plastic they have these plastic grips on these which is what they used to use most in the past and uh, these are at least rubberized which feels much better have y'all seen the zebra the new zebra stationary commercials we should watch them on stream they're terrible but there's a whole, they have a whole YouTube channel and all these new commercials. I like, I made it through like one and a half. I was like, I'm out. We'll go watch them here. If we got time, we got time. So yeah, we'll check these out. These are very, very, very popular. I've never got along with them like in a, like a top tier kind of way, but they're definitely good pens. They're good pens, Bront. Um... What is this? Is this a jet stream? Doesn't even say. What did I order? Is this a jet stream? What is going on with this pen? It's got this, okay. We need to figure this out. I don't know what this is exactly. a multi-pin. 
It's got a weird clip and a skinny knock. But what exactly is it? Sorry, I just gotta look this up because I generally don't know and it doesn't say what it is. You found it, Miss G's Crafties. Is it a jet stream? It is. Jetstream SXE3 5073 color bulb. Okay. This Jetstream multi pins combines the convenience of three in colors, blah, blah, blah. Most people use one color of their multi pins more than all the others, and the SXE3 507 is designed with those people in mind. It features a large top button for the black ink refill and smaller slide buttons for the blue and oh, blue and red components, I see. The slide buttons are positioned near the clip where they won't rub against your hand and the clip is spring-loaded and opens wide so you can easily attach a pen book. Wow. Since you'll be using the black ink the most, you need to equip this pen with a long-lasting XSR, X, SXR ML black refill. Wow. So they're assuming you like black ink the most. Okay, got it. Weird and cool. All right, so what we have is a multi-pen, a three-color multi-pen, where not everyone is equivalent in the multi-pen. The black ink refill, we'll open it up in a second, is bigger and gets it a dedicated knock okay this knock is weak I don't like the knock it feels like it's gonna break did you find the zebras there's a whole channel there's like 10 videos all right so the black gets its own knock okay the red and blue get separate traditional kind of multi-pin knocks right I I mean, I guess if I'm not, I'm like, it's fine if I'm not smashing it all the time. The clip is very springy. Put a link, can you link the main Zebra channel, Toasty Treat, if that's available and easy for you to do? We're gonna take this off here. All right, so it's saying you're gonna use the black ink the most. Off-centered baby knock, it's purposefully designed to be that way. Can you put other refills in the main knock? That is gonna be one of the big questions. I assume yes, but you're not gonna be able to change the color. Like if you put blue back here, it's always gonna be blue. Right, you're still, like you can't, you can put black here, but you're gonna have the blue knock, right? Yeah, the off-centeredness is a feature, is what they're telling you. So we have the black refill and the blue refill and the red refill. And they are different refills. They might look similar, but these are actually smaller refills. I'll sh but this, this isn't like it's still not a big refill. It's like got a slightly wider diameter. Like this doesn't hold that much more ink than I know it's hard for y'all to see. These are actually different sizes. The red is thinner than the black, even though it looks like the same. Is the black larger capacity than the other two? Yes. So this is the SXR80, it should be. All right. So the small ones are the SXR80 refill, which is their standard multi-pin refill. And this is a wider SXR ML. I'm just making sure that's actually what it is. Yep, SXR ML. It's not that much difference. So, I mean, I can definitely see a little bit of difference. Like the, the red is definitely thinner, a thinner refill. It's not like it's, wow, this is a huge amount of black ink, but so. All right. So yeah, you can get other 
ML refills. Let me see here. You could get a blue one in the back, I'm guessing. Those are only black. Oh, it only comes in black. Wow. If you like 0.5 or 0.7 black, that's pretty restrictive. Like, I get what they're doing here. Like, I get it. I'm not sure this is like a sell. Who is this a selling point to? Because the black isn't that much more. Like, I would think the black would have to be even more of a difference. Like, 70% of a grain of rice is still a grain of rice, right? Hmm. Okay. It's at least interesting. I've had it for a while and still reach for the four plus one way way more. All right. I mean, I get what you're telling me, Uniball. I just don't know that we need it. I think your compromises are kind of half-baked. Hey, love is the key. Yeah, I think it I think this is like a half-baked idea, honestly. It's fine. Yeah, multi-pins. I love multi-pins. They are not for necessarily for like hardcore writing and notes and things like that. All right, so good batch of stuff today. I think from a review perspective, I have this one covered. So I think let's give this guy away today because I think it's really cool looking. The Uni Alpha Gel Switch. And then everything else I kind of need to manage and see what's up with the remainder of the goods here. All right, so let's give this away. This is the cool looking Uni Alpha Gel Switch. You can Kuratoga, you can not Kuratoga, whatever you're feeling, but it looks cool. All right, where's my giveaway button? My favorite multi pin is the Juice Up four color. Um, my favorite multi pin is actually one of the Jet Streams. Here, let me show you one of my favorites. Let's see if I can find it real quick. This one. This is one of my favorites. Slim, compact, three color, 0.38 mint green like this exact model is my favorite multi-pin it's just a killer design it's not too wide like that one i just showed y'all it ships with the 0.38 it's not that you can't switch out whatever you want and the mint it's kind of like a uh, rubber rubbery grip it's that's one of my favorite multi that's probably my, my most used multi pin I've kind of stopped using the gel multi pins just because you do burn through the ink so frequently so fast right but this is my personal favorite in this exact color I color in gel pins yep all right, let's give away the alpha switch. All right, so we're gonna give this away. <clears throat> if I can get to my keyboard. Yeah, that mint, I, that mean the mint certainly helps my love of it, right? <laughs> So is that a Jetstream D1 refill in the one that I like? I believe so. 
Do I have it still pulled up? I can confirm. I do still have it pulled up. So which refills does it take? Uh, is it? That's not a D1. That looks longer than a D1 refill. I don't think that... Mm, I'm questioning it. Yeah, n this is not a D1 refill. There you go. Will this refill work in a pen that uses standard D1 refills? No, the SXR80 refills are too long and wide to fit in a pen that uses D1 refills. There you go. Yeah. It looks like it, like in the packaging, but once you see, once I saw it here, I could tell it was like much longer than a normal. So not D1 compatible. But they do have Jet One Jetstream D1 refills, as you're probably well aware. All right, let's give away this alpha. Love is the key. Appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. All right, we're giving away the Uni Alpha Switch. This is a mechanical pencil. That is a combination of Kurutoga and standard writing. So you can fix the rotation if you're so inclined. You can have Kurutoga rotation or you can stop the Kurutoga rotation. So that's the feature of this. Plus it's got a very comfortable grip and it's a sweet yellow color. How many pins you have and also use? Um, a million uh, is the answer to both questions. I have a lot of pins and I use a lot of pins. So I think a million is, is correct. Um, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pens. Like, pens are my job. I review, I review pens, so therefore I have a lot. I review, therefore I am, chat. All right, so anyone can enter. Exclamation point raffle. Ship worldwide. You don't have to be a follower, subscriber. You just have to be present to win, and you have to email me your shipping address when we're done. Interesting things out of this jet pins order. Like things we know, like we know the, the Twisby Eco. That we know, right? We don't know about the dominant ink pearl colors. We don't know about the Diplomat Magnum, right? We don't know about the new Sarasa Nano. Nano. We don't know about this new Jetstream. We don't know about the new Zebras. We don't know about the, uh, the little stationary kit. So this is like good, good um, testing products, good review products. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Hey, love is the key. I don't know what you're what you're getting out there. We don't we don't need to ask those types of questions here. Dominant is one of my favorite new ink brands. So I've only tried Lake, which is a standard one. Um, so I'm gonna try this one and see. This looks really cool. Now you got it. Hey, it's all good. So yeah, this is only this will be my second one. So we'll see. But um, yeah something to I, I will probably ink I'll probably clean some pens and ink that up pretty soon just gotta figure out which pen it'll be very cool Magnum is one of my faves yeah like everyone really really loves the Magnum and it's like I just don't get it how do you clean pens if you google fountain pen cleaning 101 you'll get a video from Goulet pens and it's really just running it underwater and forcing water through the nib and then shaking it out to dry. It's not overly complicated to clean fountain pens, but you can find some fountain pen cleaning 101 videos that simplify it. That's easier to, that's a visual, very visual thing to see other than like me telling you, but it's really run it underwater until it runs clear and then let it dry, either shake it out or anything. So, all right, let's pick a winner. Cast a face. Cast a face. Have you won before? I'm not, I think this is another first time. We're on a first time winner run here, chat. We're on a first time 
winner. Not me. I have two magnums but don't like the bouncy nib or the thin section. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I may be in the same boat because I can tell you I'm not going to I'm not gonna love a uh, bouncy nib, but we'll see how they go. That's why I will try the uh, fine nib for myself. First time's greetings from Finland. Nice. We are worldwide, chat. So now I have Malaysia, the UK, and Finland to ship to this week. So yeah, email me your shipping address. I almost wrote Finland on here. There we go. So yeah, email me your shipping address. And you'll be good to go. And I'll probably get this get to these this weekend. Maybe tomorrow if I'm feeling feeling lucky. Really traversing the world this week with the giveaways. Yeah, so I really appreciate all your Prime subs because I'm probably $100 into shipping this week alone <laughs> with all the international stuff. So y'all help pay for that, and I appreciate that. So it's very cool that I'm able to do this, and y'all definitely help out with that. Um, me giving to y'all giving to me, me giving back to y'all. It's a very, very good uh, system we have here. But uh, once I, when I start shipping notebooks internationally, that's when they nail you. Notebooks, anything over eight ounces international, I do not wish that on anyone. All right. Cool. So, <coughs> your money definitely does go directly to the shipping department. Prime subs three or four years later and I finally figured it out. Yep. See, in the prime subs, you're already paying for it. Like, it's no added cost to you. Need an international media mail rate? I don't. I don't really ship media. Like, I don't game. I try not to game the uh, the postal service. It's not really my thing. <laughs> like, people will email me, "Hey, I'm international. Um, I don't want to get hit for customs. Will you put that this is a gift on there?" No, I will not. I mean, if you bought it, like these, I ship as gifts. But if you buy something, like no, because I can get in trouble for that. Any opinion on Venta inks? I love them. I am a big fan of Venta inks. I've been very happy with everything that I've used, which is granted only like three. Blank notebooks seem to be medium mail. I could I could see that. Maybe I'll try that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Venta on there. Yeah, or say that's what essentially what I meant, Blog Balda. Like, manipulate, hey, don't put $200 on there. Put $10 on there. Like, like, I won't really do that. Um, Tomorrow, we have another box from Van S. Pens. I have a feeling there'll be more inks in there. Um, in the morning, for all you early risers, 8 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Eastern, we're doing a live podcast Mike and I haven't spoken in a couple of weeks. Mike's been through some stuff. Mike's been traveling. <laughs> I'm not sure it's been fun by any stretch, but Mike and I will be talking tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, Tully, it's the it's the unknown part of it too, right? It's like the who knows, like what's happening. This is a neat Twitch. Well, we do this all the time. Um, we don't always do unboxings, but we just all we're always doing something stationary related, you know, pens, paper, journaling. I'll do some writing on here. We talk about products, right? Like I'm a product reviewer, so I talk about products a lot. So yeah. Do I provide coffee and breakfast for the early session? Yes, for myself, Barry. Uh, I provide that to me. Uh, you are on your own. Um, that. That's 6 a.m. for me. Well, I expect to see you in the Discord. I mean, as someone who's up at like 5.30 every day, except today, I've, I made it all the way to 6.30 today, chat. It was a huge win. Uh, so. <clears throat> so, yeah, there you go. Um, so, yeah, we'll be doing that at 8, which means we should start at 10 o'clock here. Like, two, that two-hour window should be fine um, for us to get started. Uh, at 10 o'clock, we normally stream at 10 o'clock Eastern on Thursdays, and 
I think we should be able to hit that. I think we should be able to hit that just fine. Let's see something here. Oh, mute. Let's see if anyone's using the hashtags today. So I'm just checking if we need to throw it to anyone today. Oh yeah, this looks cool. We can do a, a, a Spanish language makers. Looks like they're, I don't know what they're making, bookmarks? I don't know, but it looks cool. All right, let me look and see what else we got. Hey, thank y'all for hanging out. I do have a Slack, but Relay FM members have a Discord. And I know Ryan's in that Discord, so I specifically said that. <laughs> So that's a uh, Relay FM thing. All right, who else we got here? What's, what's going on in Makers and Crafting? IRO Crafting with Cleo and Joe, what are they doing? Sorry, I'm just bouncing around real quick to see if we can find someone new, new to toss it to. Thank you, Cocolina. Thank y'all all for hanging out. Anyone that wants to hang out and go on a raid will find someone cool to send it to, but I am essentially done for the day. I have a friend of the show recording this afternoon, and I have a pen addict raiding a bunch of members work this afternoon for me. So that's what we're working on. All right, let's see. All right. Let's go to, uh, let's go see what, Airy Pop Art is doing. This looks like a cool stream. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go raid Airy Pop Art. It looks like they're making, I don't know, they're doing some type of artwork. Looks like they're making um, bookmarks or some type of inserts or something like that. Let's go raid them. Be nice. Be chill. Chill raid, everyone. All right, chill raid. Shh. Be calm. All right. You can do it. I have faith. I have faith in everybody here. All right. Um, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Doing it again. Big Van S. Pens unboxing. All right. See y'all then. Bye. Mucho me compro, me la compro, ¿vale? Entonces me gusta tener puntos de libro. No tenía hasta ahora.